suicide and attempted suicide. Fascinating, but we should take it for the journey. I think the other people on the plane might worry. It's been years, I've quite forgotten about it. God's sake, Robert, put it down. We haven't got time. We've got to get back today. It's such a bore. I should have kept this. Robert, after all these years, it feels like home. For 15 years, 15 bloody years, you have described this place as out in the sticks. North Oxford exile, and you have sighed every time we walk down the Cali Road, and now you're getting more fish on me. Ethics are research into science, you don't remember that. Anyway, you finally got your own way. A rambling flat of the Akash Tandori with a view of the sex shop to the front, and a charming backyard from a broken kitchen crap. You finally got your way to sit this bigger salary, saving the arms of a pharmaceutical miracle. A cursey flat in San Francisco overlooking the bay. You would hate it. It'll be warm and sunny and full of optimistic people all striving to do their bit for humanity. You know, I hardly got anything for this chapter, a hundred quid or something. All doing their bit and making a bloody fortune do it. And what is wrong with that? I have spent years in that pokey lab with its crappy equipment, having to jump through hoops to get anything done, always in fear of having the money cut off, and this wet, cold, grey country listening to you go on and on. Listening to me for what? Listening to you go... Listening to you on Radio 4 and reading your articles in The Guardian. You were not going to say that. You were going to say, listening to me talk about something I know nothing about. Got a science and society issue? Call up old Robert Parry for a cheap intellectual science. Wish you had a specialised in that area. Well, it might have chosen me, didn't it? I wish I'd never written that bloody chapter. You were lucky to be asked. It was your big break. A little more confident, hideously embarrassed. You should have taken some time out, done a doctorate. I didn't have time to think. The book took off, and when I was 24, what do you do? Tell Melvin Bragg to piss off when you're 24. You could have gone back to study, you didn't have to rush off. But it was flattering. It had the attention to have said something that struck a chord. Even if you knew it wasn't the truth. Truth? Truth. Do you want the truth? I wonder, it might even make a 
seriously, where did I put my notebook? Well, a cowering under the feather makes as big as a steak. Did you open the coffee machine? Do you want me to? Yes. You should pack it somewhere handy so you can have coffee in the morning. Leave the um, kettle out. There, actually, you can have that. I'll, I'll get the car to <coughs> Costa. Yes, yes, I'll do that. Uh, leave early and get a cup of tea on the way. I wish you weren't going. I am. Flight's booked. Flat's ready. Lads waiting for me. Lots of new things to play with. But I'm going to miss you. Only for a <coughs> We're a habit now. We both know this. We have to do this, Rob. We're not right anymore. Oh, right. A break's a good thing. Yeah. A break, Rob. When I said a break, and what well, a ridiculous kind of thing. No, Rob, when I said a break, I didn't mean it like that. And have you come back for my birthday? I said I might be back in the UK in June. You said you were coming back for my birthday. But your birthday's in June, that's when I might come back. But Rob, that's not looking very likely now. You're not coming back. I might come back. It might be when your birthday is. Rob, I don't know, really. You've got to stop building ideas in your head out of nothing. It's not fair. I mean, clearly, we need to talk, but we can't talk now. We've got eight, 15 years to dismantle. When you let them talk. It'll be later if we finish early, but it can't be now. Jeez. All right. Um, why don't... I pack the coffee machine and clean the kitchen, and that's two rooms down, and you finish here, I really don't care what. Forget about the coffee machine. We need to talk now. <laughs> Not now, Rob. Oh, come on. Yes. It's crystal in place. Oh, put me down. Bring that box. Are you sure you don't mind? No. The family grows a lovely hair. Besides, it's only for a few months. When the book's out of the way, I can do that psychotherapy course with me. And if the sale's good, we can go traveling. Or You've got more faith in that book. Well, it would be nice to be able to keep my girlfriend in the style in which she has not yet become accustomed. But we're very much like to be on a lift blood. Just kiss me. It's a bit grown up, isn't it? Is it? Kisses like that, what? You know. I didn't mean that. I mean living together. Uh, Raising a flat. That. Well, feels right, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I suppose so. I suppose we've been virtually living together since second year. Yeah, you're right, of course. It still seems like a big deal, though. It's because it is a big deal. We're saying to the world, this is how it is. We're going to live together. Stuff your board of our ideas of marriage. Stuff marriage? Do you think that might happen? Well, not to us, I think. Isn't that what you think? I don't know. I hadn't realised we'd ruled it out, that's all. I didn't realise we wanted to rule it in. Didn't we discuss it? No! And if I'd known today was my wedding day, I may have made a bigger fuss about it. Oh, come on, this is... Not down, give us more than a cheap coffee machine. This is much more significant than that. We're not only saying to the world we are as one, but we're saying we break your conventions. These are our values. This, this is our world now. If society is to develop, well, then the old values. There's a passion about these things. I'm a passionate man. Come here and prove that. Proof when you close your eyes and feel it. I'm not going to close my eyes. I'm going to keep them wide open. I'm going to say, why don't you? It was given to us by your parents. It was given to us for our home. Besides, it wouldn't make any sense for me to take it from the club won't fit. And I still don't like coffee. I wish you could come with you. When you start as if this is great. Well, don't start on that together. Look, you'll work. My work? Yes, you'll work. You're getting some teaching in now. I can't bear the teaching. I can't stand those gormless faces staring up at me. I feel like I'm in the park throwing caviar at the ducks. They do not understand the thing I'm talking about. I might as well just give in, I don't know. Don't exaggerate, Mom. You were delighted with that essay that girl wrote. You said it showed real promise. Clearly you're doing something, right? Oh, well, she's a bright thing, but she shouldn't be in that class. She should be really. <coughs> she's 21, and she's failed already. You can't fail at 21. Well, I did, didn't I? Couldn't get my first choice of uni. Wrong degree. I wish I'd asked for some advice. Oh, you would never have listened, Rob. You wouldn't have asked. You're not exactly famed for your listening, you mercurial types aren't. You hate hearing other people 
people's ideas for articles, so you're not a household name. You're doing fine. Radio 4 and The Guardian just love you. You get to go to conferences. The odd conference. They're all odd conferences, Rob. Seminal discharge in the Western Archipelago. None of it means anything. Did I tell you, there's one coming up in San Francisco. I'm going to submit a paper. I think, well, we could combine it. I might not be in San Francisco in September. Oh? No, well, it's only a six month position. I mean, it might carry on. It might not. I mean, I might find myself anywhere in the world. Korea looks interesting. You might, you might end up here. No, there are only administrative offices here. All the same, you've got offices. But, Rob, it's not going to happen. Please, you've got to stop making plans. Be flexible. You've always wanted that. Take this chance, this, this opportunity to take your books and the coffee machine and go live on the Cali Road. Have some fun, live a bit. You know, make nice discussions over drinks, all that stuff you've missed. Have some of that fun. I don't know, maybe you'll meet someone. Who, who meet? Who? Nothing. No one. Meet, some, meet someone who will get me out of your head. That's what you meant. No, Rob, I didn't mean that. You can't deny it. Have fun, live a bit, meet people. Because I'm not having fun, because I'm not meeting people, because I'm not living. It's like the opposite of what is now. It's like your blessed laws, opposites and equal. Yes. I'm not one of your lab rats, Debbie. You have something to say. Say it clearly. You don't have to pile up a thousand corpses. I get the point pretty, pretty quickly. I'm sorry. It's over. Completely over. I knew it. Why couldn't you just say that? Sorry, Rob. It's my fault. I shouldn't have let you believe it was just a break. Rob. Rob, look at me. Rob. Look at me. Please, Rob. This is the end, all right? It's over. Let's end it now, not in two weeks, on the throne, or in some dingy pub on the Cali Road, Rob. It's over. I will always love you. I will always be there when you need a friend. A friend? Yes, a friend who loves you. What are you going to do without you? You still got it? You still got charm and love? These grey hairs, well, it's a rugged look, but... I'm sure plenty of young things would jump at the chance. Really? Yes, really. No, but you can your ways. You can't have me, Rob. I'm not yours anymore. <laughs> Believe me. The last time that we were going to make... Oh, you can, you can never know. The rubbish. I had a toothache. I couldn't concentrate on... No. It wasn't exactly a fitting testimonial, was it? It was rubbish. Think that. Is there anything that doesn't make you think? Domestic bliss? <laughs> no. <laughs> Waking up in this flat every morning. The smell of freshly brewed coffee wafting in from the bedroom. Ugh. The smell of sleep, uh, the smell of freshly brewed coffee contained in the kitchen. And a nice cup of tea went for you. Mm, that's better. <laughs> you lay in bed, looking out that window, see what the day is like. Oh, I guess I don't. Uh, well, 
sure, no, but, well, why, I suppose, is the question. It's silly. I doubt it. It is. No, no, tell me. Please. Oh. No, well, I'll always know.
possession. The study of the unconscious isn't done just because you can't cut it up and sting it, shove it under a microscope and go, oh look, see that purple bit there? That's why I fantasise about having sex with dangerous strangers. How would you tell me more? I'm not me. You can't literally know what's going on inside of a person's mind. No, but you can guess what I'm thinking. Debbie, I don't see why. You <laughs> must have wrong. I can hear the words, but I can't fit it in how we talk. Where that happiness went. It's been gone a long time. It was here just the other day. There was real desire between us. That was physical, biochemical. No, there was something else. It was emotional. <coughs> Desperation at best. An echo of how things used to be between us. It's a, it's a nice memory. We shouldn't be ashamed of it. This is real. Yes. Yes, it was real. For a moment. A real memory. These twelve can't go back over it. We're nearly done here, and I need to eat to relax, even if you relax. don't. Relax. Sorry, bad choice of words.
so there's enough of it. So fine. Worry about this. The future. But us? I'm oh, sorry. What for? Aren't you happy? Just take it and go and be happy. Happy? Happy? <laughs> well, it's not unreasonable. Happy. People should be happy. You should be happy. Just go and do this thing you want to do. <clears throat> Don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Does she drink coffee? Who? Your Sarah? No. Lots. You'll be fine. Well, if you're not, we need to know this now. you out with this ethics of research thing, but well, the more I think about it, the more I'm just not sure anymore. I can finish it, but I sort of stop believing if I do. And, well, I don't know if I can do that. You don't believe in what? Well, all of it. I like the argument. I get the point of it, and I was really lucky to be invited to contribute, but I think it's wrong. Well, don't write it then. Stop and start again tomorrow. Give me a lift. Write the argument if you do believe this. Oh. Don't be such a fat mom. It's a free ride. Don't have to prove everything to yourself all the time. Just trust us. Trust this Sarah. This time, this time, just have belief. Then it won't be what I said I'd rust. You're a rebel. So what if it's complete bombs? Stop, Betty. You're not remembering properly. That isn't what happened. When we moved in here, it was the biggest thing I ever did. I made that commitment for you because I love you. I changed everything. I tried to become the person you wanted. I tried to become someone who measured up, you could measure up to, who you was as ambitious as you. I did, I tried to become that person. Oh, but you are that person. The person I love, the successful writer. I'm not. I pretend. This is the shower that I live in. Back then, I, I had fire. I was full of thoughts. And you had an idea of what I could be. You had direction. You needed direction, Rob. If you stayed on the Cali Road, you'd still be there, smoking your head off, pontificating the pub, setting the world to rights. So that's it then. I'm just going back running through the port. No, you're better than that. Isn't it all bollocks? Well, yes, but I'm better than that, surely. Drink? Yeah. Uh, I just need to scrawl out the conclusion. Um, well, I'll fax the bloody thing over to them in the morning. Mm, if you're sure. Do you want a drink? I fancy another grey. Not cheap. No, no, no. Um, there'll be a late one. There's some coffee left. I need to understand. When did it go wrong? I mean, when we moved in together, I had my doubts. They short lived only a few weeks. And then, remember, I stood here opening up the ethics of research and society and read that grotty conclusion. And then, what did I do? I asked you to marry me, and what did you say? You stood there, you looked at the proofs, and you burst into tears, and then we had that appalling fight that lasted for hours. Of course I said no, you didn't mean it. I meant it was the truest thing I ever did. Yes, dear Robert, you did I didn't mean it.
Stop it. I love you.